Disney's Tarzan, adapted by Eric Sabin, published by Golden Publishing Company. Wah! Kala the gorilla heard a strange cry ringing through the jungle. She followed the sound up into the treehouse. Under a blanket, Kala found what was making the noise. A baby boy, a ferocious leopard named Saber, had come to the treehouse. And now the human child was an orphan. Kala no longer had a baby of her own, and she knew that she had to keep help this little one. But helping was not easy. Saber was still in the treehouse, just when the leopard had her cornered, Kala outsmarted Saber and leaped to safety with the baby. At first, the other gorillas did not know what to think of this strange child. He's not our kind, said Kurchak, the gorilla's leader. He thought the baby might bring danger to his family. But Kala had already began to think of the baby of her own. As soon as she convinced Kurchak to let her keep him, what you gonna call it? asked a young ape named Turk. I'm going to call him Tarzan, Kala replied. As Tarzan grew up, he learned to move around and speak just like the gorillas. But still, Turk and the other gorilla children didn't always like to play with Tarzan. He was smaller and looked different, and he slowed them down. I'd love to hang out with you, Turk told Tarzan. But the guys, they need a little convincing. Okay, Tarzan said. What do I gotta do? To get Tarzan out of her hair, Turk, <clears throat> Turk dared the boy to go to the watering hole and bring back an elephant hair. To her surprise, Tarzan dove right in and started swimming toward the big animals. Tantor, a young elephant, had never seen anything that looked like Tarzan. Piranha! he screamed, thinking Tarzan was a hungry fish. Suddenly, the frightened elephants began to stampede. The stampede ran right through the group of gorillas. Luckily, the elephants thundered by without hurting anyone. Who's responsible for this? Kirchhoff demanded. It was my fault, Tarzan said, stepping forward. Turk and Tantor couldn't believe how brave Tarzan was. But Kerchak was furious with the boy. He will never fit in, he told Kala. Turkak's words made Tarzan very sad. Why am I so different? Tarzan asked Kala. Inside we're the same, Kala reassured him. Kerchak just can't see that. I'll make him see it, Tarzan cried. Over the years, Tarzan worked and worked at becoming the best ape ever. And when he was fully grown, he proved this by defeating the fresh, ferocious leopard, Sabre. <coughs> One day, Tarzan heard a new sound in the jungle. Bang! He raced off to find out what had made the noise. In a clearing, Tarzan saw creatures that he had never seen before. Creatures that looked like him. Tarzan didn't know it, but the creatures were humans. Clayton, a hunter, had fired his rifle. He had, hired, he had been hired to protect Professor Porter and his daughter Jane. Mr. Clayton, Jane said, my father and I came here to study gorillas, but I think your shooting might be scaring them off. Suddenly, Jane spied a baby baboon. She quickly drew his picture. The baboon looked like a drawing, so he grabbed it. Oh, look, bananas, Jane said, pointing. When the baboon turned around, Jane snatched the picture back. I can't believe you fell for that one, Jane said with a laugh. The baby baboon began to cry, and suddenly the baboon's family appeared, and they weren't happy. As Jane backed away, she fell over a log. It looked like there was no escape. When, whoosh, Jane suddenly found herself flying through the air. She looked up and saw that she was being carried by a strange man in a loincloth. Let go of me, you, Jane screamed. 
But lucky for her, Tarzan didn't listen because the baboons were closing in. Tarzan swung Jane through the trees and soon they escaped to a safe place on the limb of a tree. As Jane complained about her predicament, Tarzan began to imitate the sound she made. He was slowly learning how to communicate in Jane's language. Tarzan, he said, pointing to himself. Jane, said Jane, introducing herself as well. Tarzan liked Jane right away. She was a lot like him. Back home, Kerchak told the gorillas to stay away from the strangers, but Tarzan didn't think the humans were dangerous, and he began to spend time with them. One day, Clayton tricked Tarzan into bringing Jane and the others to meet the gorillas. At first, it was wonderful. Jane loved playing with the baby gorillas. Professor Porter was thrilled, too. Suddenly, Kerchak returned to find the humans with his family. He was angry. Clayton shot Kerchak with his rifle and missed. But the leader of the gorillas became even more enraged. Go! Tarzan cried. He held Kerchak back while Jane and the others escaped. Tarzan felt very bad about disobeying Kerchak. There's something I should have shown you long ago, Kala told Tarzan. She led him to the treehouse where she had found him. Inside, Tarzan found his father's clothes and put them on. Sadly, Kala realized that he wanted to leave with Jane and the other humans. Before Tarzan left, he hugged Kala. No matter where I go, you will always be my mother, he said. Tarzan was rowed out to the ship with Jane and the others. But as soon as he came aboard, Clayton and his thugs took Tarzan prisoner. We can't have you making a scene when we put your furry friends in cages, Clayton told Tarzan with an evil laugh. Now that he knew where the gorillas lived, the hunter was going back to trap them. Then he would take the gorillas to England and sell them. Tarzan let out a terrible cry. He felt that he was responsible for all the trouble. Clayton locked Tarzan, Jane, and the Professor Porter down in the ship's hold. A short while later, a huge elephant's foot came crashing through the deck. Tantor and Turk had heard Tarzan and swung to the rescue. Free again, Tarzan knew he didn't have a moment to lose. He had to rescue his family from Clayton. As Tarzan raced through the jungle, Clayton and his men were already at work. They had thrown the baby gorillas into sacks and had locked Kala in a cage. Just then, Tarzan swung onto the scene on a vine. Turk, Tantor, Jane, and Professor Porter were not far behind. Together, they all started to free the gorillas. I've got some hunting to do, Clayton cried as he tried to shoot Tarzan. Kerchak leaped to save Tarzan, but was badly wounded. Determined to get Tarzan, Clayton chased him into the trees, but Tarzan knew the jungle. He led the wicked hunter into the thick jungle vines. Clayton got so tangled that he soon couldn't harm anyone anymore. Tarzan and his friends had saved the day. Tarzan returned to find Kala kneeling next to the wounded Kerchak. Tarzan, I must judge you, Kerchak whispered. You must take care of the family now, my son. Tarzan knew his place was in the jungle and Jane knew that he couldn't le- that she couldn't leave Tarzan, so she and her father stayed there with Tarzan, where they all lived happily ever after.